So we've got a lot to talk about in my forecast today. The first off is going to be cool and sunny weather through Wednesday. So I know it's been pretty cool out there. That is going to be sticking around. And even bigger changes on the way. Tonight, it's going to get cold. But tomorrow night and after that, we're talking about freezing temperatures. If not freezing in the valley, frost will be likely. So make sure to cover those plants if you have those sensitive plants outdoors. And then, of course, rain chances by Friday. So let's get right into that forecast, shall we? A live look at Lassen Volcanic National Park. So this is a look right now today. And we are seeing... On top of that mountain, you can see some of those clouds, but you also see some white out there. We have seen some fresh snow fall on Mount Lassen. I was out there just two weeks ago, and I can tell you that whole mountain was completely barren, but not anymore. We finally have some new fresh snow out there. It'll probably melt, but we could see some more snow falling on it next weekend. Now, the current temperatures right now, we're looking at 60s across the valley at the moment, so sitting a little cool out there at the moment. 30s and 40s across parts of the Sierra Cascades. In fact, it's below freezing right now in Madeline for uh, maybe the two or three residents who live there, but hey, Aiden, a lot more people live in Aiden, and that's also below freezing, so it is pretty cold out here in the Sierra Cascades, sitting in the 50s right now in Trinity County. As I take you through your future temperatures and radar, tonight we're going to be dropping into the 40s, so this is going to be around 10 o'clock, 20s and 30s in the Sierra Cascades. And then as we head into the overnight hours, we're talking about upper 30s across parts of the valley. And then as we head into the Sierra Cascades, teens will be likely for a large swath of the area. So an overnight low of 15 degrees in Indian Valley. Now, these temperatures in the valley, not low enough quite yet to cause that frost. But as we go to tomorrow, around lunchtime, we're going to warm into the 50s. And then by the afternoon in the valley, we're only <laughs> Staying in the 50s. So by lunchtime in your afternoon, you're not going to see much of a difference. It's going to stay mostly sunny, it's going to stay dry, and it's going to be cool outside. Now, as we go ahead and take a look at the winter weather advisor, we have an effect. We did have a winter storm warning go all the way up the Sierra. That's been expired now. The winter storm warning has been uh, reduced to south of Butte County, out of our area, closer towards Tahoe. But there is still a winter weather advisory to worry about in Lassen County and eastern Plumas County. This is nothing serious. Don't get too concerned about it. It just means you're going to see some periods of snow, maybe one to three inches of snow uh, in some of those valleys, mountain towns. And then if you are higher up on those mountains, you could still see three to seven inches of snow. Could cause some slippery road conditions, especially if during the daytime when those temperatures are above freezing and that snow kind of melts, causing a kind of a slush on the roads out there. Now, your frost and freeze forecast, we I am tracking some chances of frost, so once we go to Saturday tonight, not going to be too much. But as we go into Sunday night, we're talking 32 degrees. It is going to get cold out there. You'll go, you're going to want to cover those plants, and you're going to want to keep them covered on Monday. Once we go to Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're talking about frost possible, but not freezing temperatures in the valley. Now, we've got that low-pressure system sitting right to our east. That's what's caused kind of that snowy weather in the mountains, but that will continue to move out of our region. And as it does so, we're going to see kind of a weakening in that jet stream. Not much really going on here. So we're going to see mild, cool, and sunny weather. Weak high pressure, weak low pressure. Nothing to really worry about Monday through Wednesday, just those cold overnight lows. However, once we go to Thursday and Saturday, we're going to have another low pressure system drop. The difference between the last system, the system we're dealing with now, and the system next weekend, here's the difference. One, it's going to be a little farther north, which means less of a chance of rain, but maybe more of a chance of rain because this time we're going to have a weak atmospheric river feeding moisture into this system. That could cause possible mountain showers and snow. As far as the rain chance of the valley, still uncertain at this time. It depends on how strong that atmospheric river becomes. Uh, but for now, it is in the forecast, which would be good uh, for getting rain in the valley. One thing I am sure of, though, more cool temperatures and much more cloud cover, especially on Friday and on Saturday. Now, tomorrow, World Piano Day. So if you know anyone who likes to play a piano, go ahead and play that piano because tomorrow you're going to want to stay indoors and bundle up because it's going to be cold out there. We're talking lunch, 55 degrees. That high temperature for tomorrow, not much farther from lunch. We're only looking at 57 degrees. As for your seven day forecast in Chico, high 57 degrees for tomorrow, 58 for Monday. That early morning frost looking possible. And then Veterans Day. A high of 61. It'll be nice for that holiday. And as we head Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, there are those rain chances. I kept them pretty low for now, but still keep an eye because those rain chances could get a lot higher if that atmospheric river sticks around. As for Redding, a high of 57 for tomorrow. Getting windy as well. Since we saw no rain in the valley, that means higher fire danger. But the good news is it'll be cooler, so that also reduces fire danger in turn. Once we go to Monday and Tuesday, warming back into the low 60s. Veterans Day looking pretty nice out there. And then possible rain Thursday through Saturday. And those temperatures also getting cold with it.